This is a biogas plant. In the course of time, uh, cattle shed is going to come here. So this is going to be used to digest the uh, waste generated in this property as well as some amount of cow dung. So this is a biogas uh, digester. Uh, I have shown the videos before as well. This is a conventional biogas digester. All the cow dung and the other food waste can go here. And this digests that waste and converts into usable methane. And this is actually used uh, for cooking purposes. So the gas generated from this uh, digester goes into a filtration unit. As I explained before, there are some amount of impurities in our uh, gas. So we have got water which can, uh, which can dissolve some amount of carbon dioxide. We have got a desiccant, so activated carbon, it's nothing but activated charcoal and we have a steel mesh. So the, the gas generated passes through all these filtration unit and gets into the kitchen there. So there we have a stove there where the gas is used for cooking. So uh, the staff quarters is meeting most of their uh, cooking gas requirement by this biogas digester. We have a pressure, pressure block here. This is just to increase the pressure of the gas. If, if we take this out, the, the pressure of the gas gets reduced. If it, it's just, just, a, just a counterweight to actually increase the weight so that the gas is under pressure. So this is about uh, uh, a few things in uh, done here. We have got solar, we have got biogas, we have some uh, the recharge wells and uh, rainwater harvesting system. So this is about all the, all the systems here. So sustainability as I told uh, earlier as well is about three major components, energy, water, nutrition and uh, waste management. If all of them are like internally and locally addressed in terms of production and consumption, we can be far better in terms of our uh, sustainable initiatives and carbon footprint and in the overall scheme of sustainability. So thank you very much.